The Safety Leadership Continuum How to Foster a Culture of Commitment with the Right Conversation Do you struggle to manage safety? Are you frustrated that in spite of providing hours of safety training, employees make poor choices and get injured? Do you wonder why people make mistakes even with clear instructions? Are you managing safety by making sure everyone complies with all policies, procedures, and regulatory requirements? Consider your personal why. Leaders who start with the wrong why create a culture that increases the likelihood of an adverse event. When you are only managing for safety, the primary reason supervisors or managers have any safety conversation is to exert control. They often use criticism and correction. The result? A culture of compliance where people are told they have to comply with rules and policies. When you are leading for safety, the reason supervisors or managers have any safety conversation is they care about their employees. Their strategy is coaching and engaging others through collaboration. This fosters a culture of commitment where everyone is encouraged to learn and improve. People are compliant not because they have to, but because it is the right thing to do. Organizations who are managing for safety rely on compliance. Their safety performance significantly lags those who are leading for safety and seek employee commitment. Few organizations have a true culture of compliance. Total commitment is also rare. Most organizations reside somewhere between these extremes on a safety leadership continuum. Companies with outstanding safety records are leading for safety. They have a culture that is strongly biased toward commitment. Where is your organization on this continuum? It is determined by your safety leadership score. We use a simple eight-question survey to obtain this score and place your organization on the continuum. The survey also provides insights on leadership styles and employee perceptions. With this survey information, you can develop a strategy to move toward commitment. For example, many times the survey reveals a critical skill gap. We do not know how to have an effective safety conversation. The principal tool used to teach this skill is the pocket guide for a safety conversation. This proven approach helps anyone have the right conversation for the right reason by following a five-step process. 1. Frame the conversation. 2. Listen for influences. 3. Discover error traps. 4. Identify the behavior. 5. Take action. The pocket guide provides a method to discover things that usually remain hidden. An effective conversation builds trust, and trust is essential to lower the water level to see the reasons why someone may take a risk or may make a mistake. Once the influences and causes for error are openly discussed, learning and improvement can occur through collaboration and coaching. When you talk with employees about safety using this process, you are taking an important step in leading the entire organization to a better and safer place, one conversation at a time. To learn more, visit our website, www.continuousmile.com. To request a free pocket guide, contact us at dgalloway at continuousmile.com.